Uh, Wilson Morales, Black Femme TV. Hi, Eddie. How's it going? What's up, Wilson? Nice to be here with you. Hey, so talk to me about, you know, obviously, you know, you're exactly a jack of all trades. You've done different things. When did you decide you wanted to write a movie and direct it? Well, I, I've been wanting to write a movie and direct it since I was 17 because I grew up in a family with quite a bit of violence. Uh, I love my parents and there was love in the household as well, but the violence really kind of defined a lot of my experiences and, and my kind of psychological state in, in growing up. And when I saw Good Will Hunting when I was 17, it made me realize it's okay to talk about this. Not everybody comes from that perfect nuclear family. Uh, most people don't. And uh, I said to myself, I wanna make a film one day about the things I went through and the feelings I struggled with as a kid because maybe you can make another kid feel less alien um, like Good Will Hunting did for me. How much, you know, obviously we all know we have to take liberties when it comes to making films. How much of your life is in this movie? quite quite a bit and it's quite accurate as well you know like none of the scenes are exactly my life but they're inspired by moments very similar for instance my father when I stole something from a neighbor had me kneel in the driveway when I got caught by the police and had me bow and apologize and I was very ashamed of myself and Boogie kind of goes through a similar experience in the film um excuse me the the bedroom scene you know your first intimate moments as an adolescent, those uh, are quite similar to things that I felt. Um, there, there's, there's countless moments from the film. Uh, I didn't take any liberties with the emotions, but I did take some liberties and replacing them in different spaces um, with, with different you know, intricacies, but the emotions are quite consistent and authentic with my life. We're gonna be wrapping up soon, so two questions. What went into uh, casting Taylor T? I don't want to butcher his name. And, and when you talk about athletes in the movie, you know, you leave out certain people, you know, but what went into obviously dropping names, name dropping like Jeremy Lin and Michael Chang, but not other famous guys? <laughs> well, I mean, those are just the ones that seem to influence me. But, uh, you know, I can't name them all. But uh, what went into casting Taylor T was really that he's a phenomenal basketball player and he's the all-time leading scorer at Alameda High School. And, uh, you know, I, I just, I also felt that his life and his background really matched up with Boogie's and that he would have a lot of personal experience to draw from, just like I did for writing the film. Mm -hmm. I think this is a universal story that will resonate with a lot of people because they'll see themselves in this, like one way or the other, think, hey, it's a good job from you. Let's see what else we can do. Don't make it a one and done. So I'll talk to you on your next project. Thank you so much, Wilson. I really appreciate that. It means a lot. Take care. You too.